Hello everyone, this is Orlando from A Collector's Dream. And today I'm gonna to show some basketball cards. I was on a, uh, chatting on a live stream yesterday in Sammy's. And uh, at the end of the live stream, they went from baseball to basketball. So they were just talking basketball. They were talking about some of the um, uh, 1970s, the tall boys. So I'll show some of those. But before that, I wanna show my, one of my favorite cards uh, basketball cards that I have in my collection and that's the uh, the Wilt uh, Chamberlain rookie card in action. Let me get you a good look at that. That's the 1961-62 uh, Fleer, the Wilt Chamberlain and uh, he has two cards in this set. He has one with the portrait and one with an action shot and this is the action shot. This is in a uh, CSG5 and the card is a beautiful card you know just a little off-center these cards are always off-center you could never get them nicely centered but this one's got nice sharp corners just a little bit top to bottom and slightly side to side but other than that it's a beautiful Wilt Chamberlain and it says you know Wilt Chamberlain dunks a two-pointer and that's so cool huh? they, they, they used to say that in the old days with them there he is with the short shorts and the back, some of the tough things about this card is usually the back, this area here has a lot of chipping and because of the blue, sometimes you see it with a white line, kind of like it's off centered in the back. So this one, the back is really, really nice and sharp. And uh, take a look at it. And it says, uh, a giant among giants, wilt the stilt, it's almost impossible to be stopped around the basket. He leaps high and he stuffs the, the ball in with nonchalant grace. He grabs rebounds from heights high above the heads of other fellows. He dunks field goals with two hands and pulls off rebounds with one. Given any daylight, he will swoop into the goal and one giant stride and roll the ball down his expansive palm just inside the front lip of the goal. His stamina is amazing, a defensive stalwart. He blocks shots repeatedly. Here, enjoying the game, he dunks in a two-pointer. So, you imagine dunking in, and basically, there he is, dunking the two-pointer, how they call it back in those days. So, so that's my uh, Will Chamberlain uh, rookie card uh, year. It says rookie year, but it's the in-action shot with the Philadelphia Warriors. So let's move on to the 1970s, uh, which is the Tall Boys. And that's kind of my favorites. I love the Tall Boys cards. So I've got some of them here. And I'm just gonna share these one at a time and um, give you guys a good look at some of the ones that I have graded. And this is, I have them in numerical order. And this is the Pat Riley. And that's the Pat Riley rookie card. See, that came out in a six. You guys, better look here. It's better if I just kind of zoom in here. So, see, you can get a look at that. So, that's the Pat Riley rookie card in a six. You can see the back. I love these tall boys, and it's just the back is it's nice, also. So, it just talks about him. He was a quarterback in high school. So, there's Pat Riley. And you got Jerry Lucas, all time great. Year forward for San Francisco. So you got Jerry Lucas. And you got Wilt, the other Wilt. There's portrait and there's him dunking the two pointer. So that's Wilt. The Lakers, that headband. These all came out of my uh, 70 71 set which I graded some of the stars, and these are the ones that I've graded, you see. They pretty much came out anywhere from four to six, so I got the will to the six, and a couple other guys in sixes, and then you've got some fours, fives, and six coming up. So here's the, Don, the Elgin Baylor. Basically, I just took the, the big stars and graded those. There's the, uh, the Kareem, it was Lou Alcindor, and uh, that one's just way off-centered, even though it's super sharp. All of these are really, really sharp. You can see the corners, how sharp that is. This one's just kind of way off-centered. 
but almost like right out of the pack. Even though that's not beautifully centered in the back, but that's what happened with these cards. Centered in the back or centered in the front. I'm not gonna get them centered on both. There's the Oscar Robertson. Now this one's a little bit nicer centered. Picked up a five on that one. Oscar Robertson, again, it's just straight. And you see the back is off centered in this case, so. Very difficult cards to get centered. But another incredible player, Oscar Robertson. And you got Walt Frazier. Another, uh, all these are the better cards from this set that I had graded. Again, in numerical order, number 120 is Walt Frazier for the Knicks. And you can see the backs, you know, it's just, just, just a nice condition. And there it is. That's the big one in the set, which Pistol Pete. And uh, my Pistol Pete is just off-centered. But like most of the cards, but sharp. Talk about sharp. Look at the corners on that. And that's a beautiful Pistol Pete Maravich. It's got a little bit of that rough cut. Because this is just how it came from the pack. I got this, uh, this came right out of the pack. Let me check it out. It's just super sharp. It's just that off-centered because off the centering is just impossible in these. And here is, this is, the set, this is the second series. The ones you showed earlier, these are the first series cards. And these are the second series cards. And he was in the second series. You see him. Pete's coach was, Pete's uh, father was a coach. Mr. Pete, check out his average. He averaged 44 points per game in three years. This guy was incredible. Most prolific scorer in the history of college basketball. Pistol Pete Maravich. Imagine if he had the three-point line when he was playing. And of course, Jerry West, the local man. And got him in a five. So that is the, uh, those are the stars. I'm gonna pull out the album here. Share some of the album with you. Let's get well distilled out of there. So this is the whole set here, minus the stars that I pulled out already. So we'll go take a good look at it so you can see what the set looks like. And you can see you got all the scoring leaders here first. And, uh, you know, this, you know, you got card number one, it just goes on all the way. Card number one is this one, card number one. And that's got, you know, all Hall of Famers. You got Lou Alcindor, you got Jerry West, Elvin Hayes, top scores there. You know, you've got uh, Elvin Hayes, you got Lou Alcindor again over here, Frazier, West Unsold. So you got a lot of big names there. And then we got, it's still got, I got a lot of Hall of Famers in this that I haven't graded, which I probably will not, I will not get them all graded. Just not going to spend the money on all this stuff, but uh, let's see if I can get you guys a good look at all this page here. So, give you guys just the best look as I can. It's just a big album here. So this is the um, the set. I'm just gonna kind of flip right through the set. You can see some of the stars. You got Bill Bradley there, and these are really, really in good shape. And you got John Havlicek there. Just nice, nice set, nice cards. I just, like I said, it's one of my favorite. It, it is my favorite set. Again, what's missing here is the ones that I pulled. That's the Riley rookie in there. You got Walt Bellamy. You got Earl the Pearl Monroe. So let me move it over a little bit, give you guys a little look in the back too, back and the front of each. So yeah, I, I keep this in, in the, these are really tough to store, so I gotta keep this in, in, in my albums. And I do have a few albums. That's the checklist. The checklist is really, really tough. And, and that one looks like it's in beautiful condition. All these cards are gonna be in great shape. I mean, you know, look at that. See, the checklist nice and clean. So um, you got Lou Hudson in here. Let's go through, see some of the other guys we got in here. Lucius Allen for Seattle. A lot of good players back in those days. 
that don't get enough uh, publicity. See how nice these cars are. They're nice, really nice shape. Bob Boozer, another good player, Bob Boozer. We got uh, Dick, Dick Barnett of the champion uh, Knicks. And what's missing in here, the ones I got graded, Don Chaney, you got Don Chaney in there. You know, you got you got a lot of the uh, players that are uh, that would, were uh, players that are now coaches. Kevin Lowry, Lockery, Lockery. You got Dick Cunningham. Let's see what else we got over here. You do have a few action shots, not many, but I think you have two or three cards like this, like John Block, that actually is. Uh, from the background because you see there's a hand there so it is an action shot most of them are kind of they are action but they white it they colored out the background so just to you could see that they uh made just gave it a solid color which i like that's one of the reasons i like the set because of the bright colors the, the the greens the blues the reds but there are some that do have and i'll show you another one later you can actually see the court so you've got uh, Bob Dandridge over here, another great player back in the day. There's uh, Paul Silas. Got a couple of big names over here, Alvin Hayes. You got Wes Unsel. So, I mean, these, you know, pretty good shape, pretty good uh, stars. I, uh, you know, some of these I probably should have graded. You know, things with the with this set it's it's really tough because they're just such big cards you know they're just big big cards and they're really really hard to take care of and, and this you know this condition they're just there weren't anything to keep them in in any type of uh, holder back in the day so these tend to uh, get damaged extremely easily and um, you know these again are also susceptible to a lot of the print issues back in the day and you can see this one's got a little bit of a, a print mark there but other than that it's solid when, when you want to what do you want what you want to look for in these set in these cards you know if you can get is centering and uh, solid colors in the background like this it just makes the cards pop sometimes the colors are a little dull you know, or some have print marks. Here's one that has like a little print mark on it here. You know, so look for clean copies and if you can get them centered, you know, they're, centering is, is the hardest thing in this. Like I said, you, if you get them centered on one side, like this Elvin Hayes looks a little bit off centered here, but then the back is perfectly centered. So you're gonna have to, to find back and front centered is, I don't know, I, I, you're not gonna find many of those. And you got Lenny Wilkins. That's a great card right there of a great coach. And um, that's Lenny Wilkins. I think that's his rookie card. We'll go take a look at the Lenny Wilkins because that one looks really, really, really nice. Really, really sharp and centered. Let's take a look at Lenny Wilkins there. Yeah. The Lenny Wilkins card looks really, really, really sharp. It's, it's got like a little, oh, that's not nothing. Really nice. The color on the background of that is nice. Maybe one day I'll grade that one. I mean, if we can get any of these cards to grade, you know, high, like eight or nines, they're, they're like, you know, big dollars. Because of the, uh, of these being the tall boys, the conditions on these really just wasn't good or isn't good at all. There's Don Nelson, another coach. You got Dick Barnett, Dick, no, Dick Garrett. You got uh, Nate Thurman. Nate Thurman was another top player back in the day. Good young Don Nelson. How about Gail Goodrich? Talk about a Laker great, Hall of Famer. Gail Goodrich is another one of these great, great players there. And Cassie Russell, that's a name, blast from the past, Cassie Russell. You know, all these guys were good, even Gus Johnson, you know. 
So now we're gonna get into the set where there's the uh, All Stars. So uh, the, the, the second series, this is the second series uh, uh, checklist and it has some All Stars here and it has some All Stars in the back. So it's a cool checklist because it's got this nice little artwork on there which you don't really see in too many checklists. But, uh, and, and, and cool artwork in the front. Because again, it's a tall boy, so and the checklists usually are just this much for the most part. So who do we got in here? You got Norm Van Leer, the checklist. And now you got the All-Stars. So in the All-Stars, you got here, you got uh, Walt Frazier, you got Jerry West. Pretty much you got all the big names coming up now. And I didn't grade any of the All-Star cards, just, um, I'm not gonna be grading too much. You got Connie Hawkins. Oh, that's not there, okay. You got Willis Reed. You got Havlicek. You got Elgin Baylor. You got the big O, Oscar Robertson. So these are all the all-stars from the 1970-71. And the cool things about the all-stars in the back, they have actual uh, game photos of them playing with like a little uh, article there but that's kind of cool that you don't see very often is the actual game you know see they're playing back there you see that so that's that's kind of cool so you've got there all these guys Oscar Robertson now you've got the uh, those were the all-stars this is the last one of the all-stars was the Lou Hudson uh, you got Rick Adelman. Look at Rick Adelman there. Looks like a young, uh, like a little dorky guy there. You got, uh, let's see, what else we got in here? Matt Gukas. Matty Gukas, another. So like I said, you got a lot of coaches. You got Dave Bing in there. So good, great players back in the day. And you see some of the highlights here for the all-star ones here. Look at that Hudson. Duncan there, open man. And uh, let's see what else we got in this. We got, this is again, now we're in, we're in the second series, which are a little bit tougher to find than the first series. But they're not too much of a difference in price. You, you got Connie Hawkins in here. And this is the series where you're gonna have, the second series where you have the Maravich. I think, Mar yeah, Maravich goes right there. Got the Maravich card. You got Connie Hawkins here. You got Dave the Butcher. Dave the Butcher is another great, great player. And, and little Calvin Murphy, man, this guy was great. And let's see who else we, Walt Hazard, another good player. Bill Cunningham. You got Jojo White, another one, uh, another Celtic great. Jim Barnett. So it's a, it's a really cool set. Like I said, I like the, the backgrounds on these. You know, they, they weren't that great as far as the cropping. I mean, look at the cropping on the Jerry Sloan. Look at the cropping on Len Chappelle. They, like, cropped off part of his head, his hair. And this one, they didn't really, couldn't really crop around it. This is one of the coolest cards in the set, the Lee, Lee Winfield, because it actually shows him on the court in the warm-up uniform. And it's really the only one that doesn't have the, the you know, either the, the dark background or the colored background, it has an actual uh, photo, which is kind of different as far as this set or, or any, any of the basketball set back in the day. And the worst one of them all is Jerry Sloan. I mean, come on, guys. They couldn't have found a better picture. And look at how they cropped his head. I mean, they hand cut that around whatever he was trying to do. But that's the worst shot of Jerry Sloan ever. And here's Willis Reed. Willis Reed was uh, an incredible, the center for the Knicks. I mean, he, he ran the team. He was a big, big, uh, he was uh, a big, you know, big responsibility for them, him to win the championship, Willis Reed. And what else we got on here? Uh, Hal Greer, another good player. And let's see here, Jimmy Collins, Eddie Miles. And uh, now we're getting into the uh, the end of the set. And at the end of the set, you have the championship games here. 
So you got Clem Haskins, another good player there. You know, just the, the only thing is, like I said, when they cut things out, I mean, this guy, they've got, the head is so big, he runs right into the, the edge there. This guy is, you know, terrible picture there, but that's the way it is. Now you got the championship, so it's like a photo album, what they did with championship games. And this is game one, and it has Willis Reed. And in the back, they say all the statistics for the game. And it tells you the high scores. And then this is the last ones here. You've got game two, game three, four. And two is Dick Garnett, Dave DeBusher. This is Jerry West. Then you've got Bill Bradley over here. And you've got um, Wilt. This is the Wilt Chamberlain card over here in game six. And Walt Frazier in game seven. And then you got the uh, celebration when the Knicks win it. You got the Wilt Champs with the with the Knicks and all the stats in the back. So anyway, guys, that is my 1970-71 basketball set along with one of my favorite cards from the uh, basketball card. And that's my Will Chamberlain in action where he's dunking a two-pointer. I just love that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This is Orlando from my collector's dream. I hope you enjoy this. Um, and uh, let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about this set. What, what, what is your favorite basketball set? And um, let me know. Thanks, guys. Have an awesome, awesome day. And I'll catch you on the next one. This is Orlando from my collector's dream. Please like and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Have an awesome weekend.